What's going on, E Nation fans? This is Impress48 here. Welcome back to another diecast haul. And today we're gonna be opening up two diecasts that I got from Walmart during my break from work yesterday. And one of them is a Hot Wheels diecast, and the other one is, of course, a NASCAR Authentics diecast. And I'm looking forward to opening those up and show it to you guys. With that being said, let's begin. So first off, here we got this uh, Dodge Charger stock car. That is right. Um, Hot Wheels continues to make a uh, Gen 4 related die cast. And not just that, even with Dodge. And I think it's pretty cool. And I know there were some other um, Dodge uh, NASCAR Gen 4 diecast before, but I just never had a chance to get those. I don't know if you can still get them. Like, like I think you gotta get them online only. I assume I could be wrong. Also, I don't have my box cutter again. I can't find it again, so I'm using like a little small kitchen knife. So yeah, and surprisingly, that went well. Now let's take a look at this car. Let's get it out. Uh, here it is. New car smell, and here it is. You got the number three Hot Wheels Dodge Charger, because it looks like a Charger. And what's weird is that this uh, stock car, it's Michelin instead of a Goodyear. That's kind of suspicious. So... I'll do a little review, because why not? I got the number three on the roof. You got Hot Wheels logo. I got number three. Oh, crap. Don't give them any idea. Don't give NASCAR any ideas about number placements, Hot Wheels. And you got Hot Wheels on the hood. You got Dodge logo. The same size as the left. And, of course, nothing else. Just a ordinary um, Hot Wheels uh, stock car diecast. I guess the other one, uh, oops, um, the other one was like a, what was it, a Mopar car? Because uh, I know how it had the Mopar logos, that's what I remember. And finally, here we got Noah Graxon's 2021 Bass Pro Shops Black Rifle Coffee Company Chevy Camaro from junior motorsports and this is what like on the recent waves because like there was more wave fives and like some wave six diecast at my walmart yesterday so yeah the ones that i want i really want the most are ross Chastain, austin hill and daniel suarez thankfully i got gregson i needed a gregson diecast anyway for xfinity so yeah Let's get this car out of its box, shall we? And unfortunately, I still have a free decal, free sticker, instead of magnets. Alrighty. All right, time to get the sticker out. Here's a sticker. I prefer the magnets all day, every day. And it's done. All right, and here it is. Surprisingly, that went well. So here it is. This is Noah Gregson's 2021 Bass Post Shops Black Rifle Coffee Company. And unfortunately, it does have some issues. I have an orange chip. And you can't get it out. Of course. I am so shocked. Anyway, so here we got number nine. Black Rifle Coffee Company, True Timber Camo, and then you got, you got Brant, uh, Superior Excess, Exalta, the American logo, the American flag logo, America, Bass Pro Shops, No Gregson, number nine, got the contingency sponsors, um, got some small sponsors, Sim, uh, I can't tell the rest, you got Johnny Morris, Bass Pro Shops, True Timber Camo, uh, Black Rifle Co uh, Black Rifle Coffee Company. I got Chevy logo number nine, Camaro, Junior Motorsports. And I guess the hood looks mm, not crap. Of course, it's not in place. You got like this whip, and you got this. Like it's right in its right place, but on this side, it's a bit lower. 
Oh, um, um looks like same size left, and of course, there's another issue. Um, oh, I, I took that off. How about that? This is the only Gregson they had on my Walmart, so yeah, surprisingly, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Got Chevrolet logo True Timber.com, got number nine, got a Mac Tools Mechanics Wear, I think. Yeah, another logo, Camaro, Chevy logo, and we still got the Chevy Camaro Xfinity body being thick. So yeah, got number nine, Black Rifle Company, and True Timber Camo on the deck lid. So, and of course, suspensions like that. So, mm, I don't think that's going to come off. So, besides, like, a yeah, couple of issues, this is still a cool car. I still like the paint scheme. It's still an amazing paint scheme. Very, very cool. And it's very cool that Gregson won two in a row this year. I got Darlington and Richmond. I was hoping he'd go three in a row, but sadly, that didn't work out. So yeah, how about that Xfinity race last night? The race was great. The race is good, and the finish was uh, something else. And honestly, like, yeah, it looks yeah, the finish looks stupid, but it was. I mean, it is Bristol, so yeah. Oh, although like I'm not a fan of green white checkered and a stupid. Uh, the ch sadly the chase is here now for the Xfinity series, pain. Um, it was still a good race, although. I hate the uh, the BS entertainment gimmicks in NASCAR. I mean, the race in general was good, and then the finish was crazy, of course. Still better than trucks. At least it wasn't like, what, like four green white checkers? Like, at least it was like one, one and only. At least they just, like, finished it like that. I can't snap. So, yeah. So, these are the cars that I got from Walmart. Very, very cool. I really hope, I, I know I haven't, like, gotten, like, new diecast like, a lot. I know, like, I've gotten, like, Hot Wheels die -cast, but, like, of course, the, of course the prizes are cheap, so of course I'm gonna get them. But, I'm sorry I haven't gotten, like, any new NASCAR, I, and IndyCar diecast as well. It's been a while. I do want to save up money. I don't, I'm just trying to save up money and all that. And, yeah, like, I'll do my best to, like, get get them if possible again saving up money trying to be responsible and all that so yeah but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this haul um i want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video comment like and subscribe for more follow my social accounts don't forget to turn on my youtube notifications for more uh thank you guys so much for supporting e nation this is the impress 48 signing off goodbye everybody